What is up, YouTube? If you are here, that means one of two things. You like the Pokemon Trading Card Game, and it's your first time downloading Pokemon Trading Card Game Live, and you are trying to figure out how to best use your things, or you've come to the very wrong place, and um, you probably don't play Pokemon, or you clicked on something and thought this was Master Duel, but both of those things aren't going to work. We're actually just a Pokemon stream, and the client looks terribly worse than Master Duel. But if you are new, and you're trying to figure out how to play free-to-play, this is your first step in figuring out, what should I do with this crystals, these gems, these credits. I don't have cards that came over with me. What am I getting? Am I getting the best bang for my buck? Can I still compete with tier one decks? I'm going to go through all of that with you right now in this video. There's going to be a video up there somewhere that'll tell you everything you need to know about the client as a whole. Please consider clicking on that, watching that, subscribing, liking, you know the drill, but we're going to go ahead and talk about, you just finished the tutorial. You're here. What's next? We're sitting on this vibey venue. The music is going ham bone. Well, the first things first, you should have a little more crystals than I do, credits than I do, sorry, because I kind of use some credits to craft the card, but you should have about 1,800 credits and about 520 crystals when you're done with the tutorial. Now, coins are something you can earn as you're playing uh, through the game, so the more you play, the more coins it seems like you earn. I don't think there's a cap on coins, but we'll go ahead and talk about the Battle Pass to start. The Battle Pass is a daily quest and uh, looks like a weekly quest or like another daily quest, second daily quest. You get two a day. Uh, some are worth more than the others, and they give you crystals, they give you coins, and they give you, more importantly, Battle Pass levels. Now, the Battle Pass itself, you're thinking, what's the difference between the Basic and the Premium? Well, the Basic gives you a ton of packs as you go. Just to start, just by starting the Battle Pass off, we're getting uh, a ton of packs, and we are getting a bunch of cards. We're getting a full deck, basically here, for just just entering we're opening five packs and we're coming in which is nuts like that's just hey like a welcome to your tier zero and the deck they're giving you as well single strike Ursh, it's a full archetype they're giving you a full archetype obviously some of these cards like this cub Fu, this urshifu line the zinnias some of these cards are not the most playable but everything else is this this is all like a big skeleton of proponently of a tier one tier two deck you're starting off with pretty much everything you need off the bat which is pretty nuts to me um the base, it looks like the basic line across the board will give you just more and more and more packs and credits across the board and a couple more single strike cards to kind of make your deck a little bit better. It looks like the basic will have a theme as will the premium. So the basic, it looks like will give you more and more cards as you go every 10 levels. Looks like our Crobat here. No cosmetics, it looks like on the top row, just booster packs uh, of whatever set this currently is. So I believe each battle pass will probably reset. Uh, with new sets because this is 13 weeks one day and you can get up to level 70 here now let's look at the premium and is it worth it if i want to get the premium pass it is 800 gems and then if you do 2000 or crystals sorry if you do 2000 crystals you get 15 tiers immediately now is that worth it probably not i would just not if you're going to play a lot i just wouldn't do this uh but i think every single time you always go for the premium pass here for the 800 crystals now let me tell you why off the bat you're getting a 60 card deck of mu v max now you're getting, a, I presume, a 1-1 one, one Mew Max, maybe 2-2. Two, two. You're getting Fusion Strike Energy. You're getting all these cards. Now Mew Max is a tier 1 deck. It is probably the tier S best deck in format. And they are handing you a few cards to already start building it. And you're like, wow, that seems too good to be true. It's not. It's really not. Because if we're looking at the same theme that we were talking about, it looks like you're going to get your crystals back across the line as we're going ahead. It looks like 50 crystals at a time. And then as soon as you hit level 5, which shouldn't take too long... Bada bing, bada boom, you get another Mew to add to your Mew deck. So now you have a more competitive deck to continue playing. More crystals as we go. Credits as well along the line. Some coins. And now we'll talk about those currencies as we go as well. Some little more of these like cosmetic items for your avatar if you're someone who's into that kind of stuff. Uh, other booster packs. And then boom, another Mew VMAX. We are continuing that collection. So we're going to keep going down the line. There's Genesex, which are also a great support mod for this archetype. Um... Basically, the premium pass is giving you a entire deck. Uh, okay, I can't enlarge the jackets, but there's jackets. You saw them. Some random booster packs here and there. More staples for this deck as we continue to go. And then eventually, uh, you get a... What is this? It's a nine cards per pack. Oh, oh, this is cool. So you get one card that's a random. It's a random like loot box, it looks like. And then you can go all the way where cards six, seven, cards seven, eight, and nine are ultra rares and secret rares, which is already an insane amount of credits if you already have them. If you don't have them, they're just going to get slotted into your collection. And you're going to go all the way down to the end of the pass um, to get this deck box, which doesn't really matter for a lot of people. But if you're into cosmetics, it'll be great for you. But otherwise, the rewards are fantastic. 
So I recommend getting the premium pass every single time. Now, what does the shop do for you? Now in the shop, you've got all these things that you can buy at a store. Like you can go to a store and pick up like a leafy on V star box or this trainer's toolkit. You can buy these things in person, uh, which makes it much easier to, um, you know, pick up them for crystals. So where should you start is the question, right? I wouldn't spend anything anywhere yet in this shop with your crystals. I would hold off on first kind of figuring out what kind of decks you want to play, what kind of things you want to do. And we'll talk about our free decks in a second that you just got from the tutorial. And there's expansions here that'll tell you exactly how many cards you have going for you. And once you exceed four copies of a certain card, it will automatically become credits. You cannot dust anything below that. So it makes sense for you. And there are bundles here. So if you save up your uh, credits or not credits, crystals to get to six or 1120, that is cheaper than buying just one pack at a time. So it incentivizes buying a little bit less and there's premium bundles. And you can also use your coins if you're not into the whole avatar cosmetic thing. Your coins can just be recycled from playing into crystals, which then become a pack, basically, which is fun. And you can redeem your codes here. Look, it's me. It's picture in picture um, to put in your code cards. Now, code cards look kind of like this. You get them in a booster pack, and they're pretty cheap online for some sets like Celebrations, which should garner a lot of credits because of the holographic cards in them. Now, let's look at our decks. You've completed the tutorial. You're fresh off the tutorial. What does this do for you? You get eight decks. And they are all competitive tier two, tier three, some even tier 1.5 decks. So you're getting this deck that's a Rapid Strike Malmar deck. It's pretty much almost complete. You sub in a couple of cards here and there, and it's literally tournament viable off the bat. What does Tess do? I don't, I shouldn't have pressed that button. I've ruined this entire video. Do I just, does it just like play a hand for me? Oh no. I'm so sorry, everyone watching. I've kind of, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna leave. It's just an AI. I'm just playing a game against an AI with the deck. That's a really cool function. I actually like that a lot. <laughs> Ignore that. I'm really sorry. Uh, and then we got a Zacian and Zamazenta deck as well. Once again, two Zacian, two Zamazenta, two Ultra Rare cards right there. And basically the entire skeleton for what is seemingly, you know, a tier one deck um, or tier two deck besides a couple of cards, you know. Obviously, we're going to want some more Zacians, uh, bump out some of these cards up here. But that's just a good skeleton for you to start with. And then we get a Blissey V deck. Fresh with four Blissies. They just gave us four Blissies off the bat. A bunch of other really competitive cards. This deck is literally just like, I can take this to the ladder and probably start winning games off the bat against people who brought their entire collections over. People who have been buying codes for weeks. Like, this is perfect. Another Decidueye Inteleon deck. This is not the most expensive deck by far to build because you're only using rare cards here. Holographics, if that must be. But you get this whole Inteleon line. Now, this Inteleon line has this really cool card called Drizzle, which can slot into pretty much any deck as an engine. Shady Dealings, once you evolve this card from your hand, you can get one trainer card. And that's a really cool search effect because it just becomes a really, really strong um, effect. And these are all your trainer cards. So you can get any of these cards in your deck and you basically play a searching engine off the back of this. Um, Sobble searches for itself with the Keep Calling attack. And you have the Inteleons with the Quick Shooting, uh, as well as uh, this one with the Shaded Dealings, which is the same ability, but stronger. Uh, you basically get that for free. Another VMAX deck coming fresh with a 2-2 line of Inteleon VMAX. Now, this deck isn't great, but it is another archetype, another way to play the game that's given to you. Rapid Strike Urshiva VMAX, a very popular deck that has been very, very successful across the board. And a whole 2-2 line is given to you. You kind of want to go up again, like it's the same thematic. They're giving you a theme deck, basically. They're giving you a competitive deck in the form of a theme deck. But changing a couple cards around, this can become a tier one deck off the bat. A Shadow Rider Calyrex deck as well. A 2-2 line here. Another way to play the game. Another tier one, 1 1.5 to tier two archetype. Uh, a single strike Urshifu deck. We got that off the battle pass, I believe. So I don't think it's one of our eight that we got for free. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, I think this was the battle pass reward. So you do get nine decks, I guess, total for free. And then you get a Suicune V deck, which is another really cool, insane deck for free. And then from here, you can kind of go to your profile and kind of, not profile, decks and you can kind of you know edit deck build cards as you want it kind of figure out where do you want to put stuff into your deck how do you want to add stuff does this ente make its way into my deck do i want to exchange an ente uh for 750 credits now i'll go more to the economy a little bit deeper but it looks like rares are about 400 holographics are about 425 uh, commons are like 40 which is like nothing and then you've got your secret rares which are about 750 or sorry yeah secret rares and then your ultras or whatever they go, or ultras are for 750, and then the secrets and full arts, they like double up on that. But if you're not, if you're not looking to play with bling cards, you should be fine building tier one, tier two archetypes with relatively ease. Like this is so cool. This is a very easy balanced economy. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video because 
you know, it's a really cool game to get into it. If you have, if you want to consider being part of my community where we have daily discussions on our discord, you can join the link down below. You can also join this YouTube channel by subscribing and supporting me out and leaving in the comments below other stuff you want me to cover <clears throat> as we're going through live. We're going to go through a lot of decks. We're going to get some deck profiles out there. We're going to get you ready to play on this ranked ladder where we'll talk about that in a different video. So thank you guys so much.